All right. Look at this. Replacing is number dependency with a one-liner saves 440 gigabytes weekly. I got to see this, okay? All right. So first off, let's check out the change. Check out the change. Uh, <laughs> anyways, all right. So type of V is the number, and V minus V equals zero. Okay, nice. So this must be the is nan check right here. So this thing is a number, and it is nan. Or type of V is a string, and number is finite okay so it does an is number check so i wonder it does is finite hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on uh node uh is finite nan false okay so good that works okay so because a plus obviously a plus v can be a little bit weird is finite um <laughs> there's a reason for this okay when you when you just number coerce a uh, an empty, you get zero. Okay, it's it's so stupid. It's just so stupid. Number dot is a finite. All right, sure. False. Hey. Okay. True. Okay, so there's the danger. There's the danger. I didn't realize there's a finite and an is finite. Nice, nice. That's cool. All right, so is number. There we go. Uh, v dot trim does not equal zero. Okay, this makes sense. So it's not white space. It is finite. Right, so. Okay, nice, because that would, that would make uh, this be false and it'd also make that be false. Okay, cool. So we understand what happens here. So not very difficult, right? This change is pretty straightforward and then obviously you take out is number, your only dependency of version seven. Can we please go check out what is number is? Is number. Let's just check this out. Let's just see how big, oh my goodness, uh, NPM. Let's just see how ridiculous this is. Let, first off, I do want to say that this thing is currently being downloaded 68 million times a week. Okay, I want everybody here to hang your head in shame. All right, so let's, let's see what we got. We got some benchmarking. We got a whole bunch of this stuff. We got editor configs. We got attributes. We got our index.js, use strict function if type equals num equals number number minus number equals zero there we go we got the string trim is finite finite else we use the other finite little dangerous here okay little dangerous here as we saw earlier oh but it does it does a trim okay it does a trim so it makes sure that it's not an empty one okay yeah else return false there we go it's the same thing Ooh, wait a second if you know i don't i don't want to i don't want to be i don't want to sit here and like burst anybody's bubble but uh, this looks like you kind of lifted the code without proper attribution i'm just saying micro match master okay girl you want to know why we call it micro match no we don't we don't want to know that but i do want to say that i you know i'm kind of it's kind of looking like why does this exist at all oh uh javascript does not have a good standard library that's why okay this kind of i'm just saying you might want to throw a little attribution in there all right, so how do we know this? All right, this PR replaces is number package with the one liner that uh, with identical code. It passes all tests, run uh, npm run tests. This tiny change saves 440 gigabytes weekly traffic. Package size report: package info to two regex range, released right here. Uh, downloads last week: 43 million. Estimated traffic last week: 1.5 terabytes. Removed dependency: this. Downloads last week: this much. Downloads from this one right here. Estimated traffic, 440 gigabytes. <laughs> but it's a port node 0.0.4. This is just ridiculous. Welcome to JavaScript, by the way. I think what I see yesterday, which I think is really amazing, is that you don't realize how small... Oh, JS was a mistake. You don't realize how small... People think dependencies are free. They're not free, right? There is a distributed effect, and sure, none of us are going to feel this distributed effect. It doesn't really matter in any sort of grand scheme of things, but it makes me feel good knowing that we no longer send 440 gigabytes a week across our networks for checking if something is a number in JavaScript. Something just makes me angry about it. You know what I mean? It just makes me want to throw punch this. Yes, it did this. This, this, this photo says everything about it. Let's see. Another option is using type of min equals number, but I need to investigate whether... Yes, you, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. Great job. Uh, it's almost... Let's see. It's it's almost... At, there's Apparently, there's a very good comment in here. It's almost always going to be a string. This library was created to use with parsed values. 
Does this pass all of the is numbers unit tests? Well, it's like it's it's wholly lifted, I think, from your library, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, two years ago, closed by this. You are single-handedly contributed to climate change for two years. <laughs> There's always that. You know, some people they just have a fedora on at all at all times. They just have a fedora on and they cannot help it. Uh, but I do. I absolutely love it. I always jokingly make this comment, which is that JavaScript. If people really cared about climate change, they would quit using JavaScript. They don't. Okay, that's how you know. That's how you know that everybody keeps talking about this so-called climate change. They don't actually know. And it's so great to do this. It's so great to do this. I absolutely love. I love using this as a. Uh, as a uh, what's it called? As a tool, and I like using it as a tool not to raise awareness for uh, not for this reason. I'm not trying to raise awareness. Okay, we're trying to own. Okay, we're trying to own here, and that's what we're trying to do. Hey, Space Time DB, thank you for the raid. Let's go, let's go, Space Time DB. If you don't know Space Time DB, Space Time DB is a, uh, is a super awesome database. You gotta go check it out. Uh, but I just love, I love owning the libs when you can on this this is the great this is the, a, such a funny statement to make and it's so good and mr licken you in fact don't have your fedora on and you like to poke the bear this is great this is absolutely great owning the libs and by libs i mean libraries look at this owning the libraries this is it's it's so dang funny <laughs> this pr and this entire way of thinking is a waste of time and energy <laughs> You done did it, baby. You done did it. You done you done messed up. Oh. Beautiful. He's derailed the convo. Well done. You did derail the convo. Not only did you derail the convo, it actually it actually it threw everything on. Uh, uh, NPM doesn't bundle your code. NPM is a package manager. This is like you saying you should remove your readme because it saves bandwidth. Well, I mean, to be completely fair, you do download millions of these. Constantly, man, you actually have, holy cow, you actually derailed this entire thing. My gosh. How did this thing get so derailed over this one comment? Uh, but it uh, downloads the whole tarball, which wastes bandwidth. People will still pay for the internet and slows down CI during installs. In a scale of one package, it might not be noticeable, but when you get a lot of them, and you usually do, it slows down things monumentally. And also, yes, ideally, packages should uh, ship a small readme as possible. There's zero reasons for a library consumer to have stored on their machines, only source files. In fact, that's why you do. That's why whenever you use uh, NPM, you actually have a files. You can actually have a files inside of your package.json that says, says which files you're uploading. So that way you don't have to do that. Dude, it's still going. It's, it's, still, it's still going. We're still, we're still arguing over this. Just, just merge the damn thing. Thank you, Paul. Yes. This is, by the way, this is a really good call out. This does copy the uh, is number without any sort of proper attribution. Right, you should have proper attribution. This PR, everyone is so triggered. I am shocked at, I'm shocked that the, dude, open source was definitely not a mistake. Okay, open source was actually a mistake. Open source was actually a mistake. I can't believe you derailed this entire conversation with the greatest, the greatest poke of the bear ever, because it puts people in a funny position. Anyways, I do, I, I think the overall thing to take from this is that it is wild how much impact. I wonder how much internet is devoted to NPM. Just every single week down. I wish there was like a number. Is there a number? Is NPM getting near Netflix? Like imagine how, how funny would it be if it's like things that take up things that take up the internet. I'm sure this is a meme, right? You could have Netflix, right? And then you'd have porn, despite me not wanting to say it, but here we are. Porn. And then we have NPM. I don't know why this circle encapsulates both of them, but that'd be very, very funny to do something along those lines where it's just like an NPM is the, uh, it's, yeah, it's the weight of node modules, except for it's with NPM. Ah, uh, it's so good. It's so good. Absolutely beautiful. There is a meme here. <laughs> Climate change is a myth spread by Rust developers to shame us into becoming crabs. <laughs> Anyways, hey, the name. NPM is a super set of porn. It is the name. The name is the primogen. And I just, I'm sorry that this is a video. 